Let's get right to it. Y'all already know what it is, your brother, the only brother, Black Light. So I'd like to say greetings to all my black, beautiful brothers and sisters all over the planet. We left off at the population of the original nation in the wilderness of North America. During the time of this writing was uh, this book, the printing of this book was 17 million. With the 2 million Indians making 19 million. All over the planet Earth, it's 4,400 million. And I'm going to let you see it for yourself. In case I said them numbers wrong. Right here. That's 4,400 million all over the planet Earth. The birth rate of the Caucasian is not that of the original people. Because you see that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in this part of the, uh, the wilderness of North America he added the two million Indians. The Indians are part of the original nation. So are the Chinese. But the Chinese, they didn't roll over and play dead. And he respects them. You know. And so he's, he's trying to work out a deal with them now. Because you see how many Chinese it is on the planet. And they are part of the original nation. They may not consider themselves a part of the original nation, just like some of the Indians. But they don't have the supreme wisdom of the original black man. And they don't have the law of the planet, which is Islam. Even though by nature, you know, they are a part of the original nation, believe it or not. And then it says, the Caucasian population, population of the colored man, which is the Caucasian, in the wilderness of North America, is 103 million. During the time of this right, this writing was back in the, I think, 50s or 60s. Could have been uh, in the 30s. I believe that's when it was in the 30s. All over the planet Earth, 400 million during the time of this writing. Then it goes into the square mileage of the Earth. But we're not going to get into that right now. What we are going to talk about. It's the unity of our people. And the willpower of our people. Let me let me go back up here to the willpower. That's a power. The will is a power. Understanding is all up in the head. Go up here to, let me see. 
Let's see right here. This is understanding. At the top is our law. This is understanding the will and imagination. These are some of the powers that we have. That's what God really means. The possessor of power and force. But Allah means the all in all. When you master the all in all, which is all the powers. That's why we call Master Farah Muhammad. Because he had reached that elevated state. Now. The status of the nation of Islam. Is not independent. And they're not practicing Islam. Because. They're aiding and abetting the enemy. By following his corrupt laws. Of usury. Of putting into legislation homosexuality the practice of homosexuality uh, by him going over starting wars killing all this is in the Bible thou shall not kill you know uh, thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor he goes over to other countries tell lies that the other countries uh, are attacking him and doing something against him so he could go bomb the hell out of them. And he don't even have the approval of the American people to do these things. But yet still, he sends, when he had the draft, he sends your sons over there to uh, die and kill uses usury and the Bible clearly states that usury is not permitted by Allah so the foreign born Muslims come over here and in their banking system they have interest they tack on interest and the Quran is also against usury interest is still usury and they borrow from the Federal Reserve uh, Federal Reserve you know, is the number one financier of uh, American wars. And then the same technique he used on the Indian, he uses now in other parts of the world. And he's over in Africa trying to reduce the population over there. You know, uh, but they are an independent nation. The nation of Islam over here, forsaking the practice or the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and they remain under the authority of the Caucasian and not trying to seek independence like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, how he did it. So, uh, you're not really uh, practicing your Islam even though you're a Muslim by nature you're not into your self by you other than acting other than self by going along with the laws that conflict with the laws of the Most High stay tuned to the next one Islam my brothers and sisters